Well, the count has just finished in the last few minutes and we can confirm that Margaret Ferrier has been ousted as the local MP here in Rutherglen and Hamilton West. Uh, the votes are as follows. There were 11,896 people who casted a vote in this. That was 14.66% of the electorate. The threshold in this was 10% of people living in this area, which means Margaret Ferrier has lost her job. This area is now without a member of parliament. This has been a long road of controversy, a long road of scandal involving Margaret Ferrier uh, since she took that journey to the House of Commons back in 2020. She took part in a speech in the Commons at the height of the coronavirus pandemic while waiting on a test result for COVID. Then when it was confirmed she had tested positive, she got on a train back home here to Scotland. The, at the time, she was condemned by politicians and many here within her constituency. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon, the then SNP leader, the then First Minister of Scotland, said that this was the worst breach imaginable. Her actions were reckless, they were dangerous and they were completely indefensible. Now, time after time, month after month, ever since that moment in 2020, Margaret Ferrier has resisted calls, rejected calls for her to resign from the seat and to trigger a by-election, to put it back to the people here for them to decide what should happen. But that was taken out of her hands when she was suspended for 30 days uh, in by a Commons committee uh, that triggered what's known as a recall petition. And over the course of the last six weeks or so, people here have been deciding whether they want to oust her. Well, that has been pretty clear. More than 10%, 11,000 people here in this constituency have voted to get rid of her. This is going to be a really interesting few months ahead. A by-election is now expected probably late autumn and the two top spots here really, the two contenders are the SNP against Labour. Labour who clearly want to get the keys to 10 Downing Street. Keir Starmer got his eyes on the prize at the end of next year in that election. Scotland will be critical to that move and clearly what happens here in this by-election coming up will be incredibly interesting. But also the other side of the coin, the SNP after what has been an incredibly difficult time for them, the arrest of their former leader, Nicola Sturgeon, her husband, Peter Murrow, the treasurer of the party, them finding themselves at the centre of a police probe examining their funding and finances. Has that dented their electoral success? We will find out here in the coming months. Yeah, and just, very, just a clarification, she can stand in this by-election, can she, if she wants to? She has been ousted as the MP for this area for now, but she will, if she so chooses, be able to stand in that by-election in the coming months. Margaret Ferrier has not said really very much uh, since her time in the spotlight, since the time this scandal broke. She's given no uh, media appearances, no media interviews. She shied away from the cameras uh, and has issued one or two statements uh, just a couple of weeks ago before this recall petition on the eve of of that she urged voters here, her constituents, to ditch this and to stand behind her. Well, clearly that hasn't happened here, and it'll be interesting to see now if she takes stock and decides whether she will fight this, she will plough on, uh, as she has suggested before, or whether she will call it quits uh, and draw her time here in Rutherglen and Hamilton West finally to an end. Right, and just finally, the, um, Labour, as you say, will see this as a clear opportunity. A prime opportunity for Labour who are quietly confident they've been pounding the pavements here in this constituency ever since word came about of this recall petition, ever since word came about that Margaret Ferrier has been in a spot of trouble, not just with her constituents, but clearly in the court of criminal law as well, when she got that criminal conviction and she had to serve her time in community service. They've been enjoying a whiff of success after what has been an incredibly dismal time. Let's remember, Labour here in Scotland only have one MP. Cast your minds back uh, a couple of decades, Labour dominated Scottish politics. So they will be hoping to turn those fortunes around uh, capitalise on the misfortunes of the SNP over the course of the last uh, couple of months and all is now to play for.